Judge, today's case is angry woman. Today, we have an angry young lady focused on a philandering dude. Have you heard that one before? I got something new to say today. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Ray Shanae Hall and Itaris Parker. The two of you have been together for four and a half years, engaged for eight months, but you don't think you're going to make it. Therefore, you've come to see me. Uh, Ms. Hall, you're seeking some money from him, and we will talk about that momentarily. But before we do, Ms. Hall, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me what the issue is? Trust. I trust. Don't, I don't trust him at all. And I don't trust him because it's been a few incidents that have happened this, all four years, all four and a half years. And give me the top three. So, first incident, when we first met, he invited me over to his home. Mm hmm Okay? We always watch movies at his home. Well, he said that he had a project to do. He was claimed that he always was in the studio mm -hmm. and things like that. So, he said his homeboys were coming over to do a session at his house, so I needed to leave his home. Well, I live 15 minutes, 20 minutes away from his home, and he told me to, to leave. Well, I told him, well, I'll just go around the corner to a friend's house, and I'll just sit there till you're done, since it's only gonna be a couple of hours. Well, he's like, no, nah, you just need to go home. Well, no, I didn't go home. I went straight to my friend's house and waited and waited for about four or five hours. Well, he would never answer the phone when I called him. So, I left my friend's house, went back to his house. All the lights are on. You can smell marijuana in the air. So I knock at the door, and I hear a female say, well, who was that? So I knew it was one in there, but he never, he never answered the door. Never would answer the door. So when I drive off, he decides he want to call. So um, what did he say? Oh, it was, it was um, a female friend that could sing. That's who was there. Right. Mr. Parker, do you care to respond to that? that she's absolutely right. Um, it was, we was working on a song, uh -huh. and I felt like her presence didn't need to be there at that time. She, mm -hmm. didn't, she didn't need to be there at that time. So mm -hmm. that's all it was. It was just, we was working on something, and... Um, it was business, and, and your woman didn't need to be in on it. Strictly business, but this was the first, th like, three months, three, four months of our relationship. Oh, okay, yeah, so it was so early it was, on. Yeah, it was the beginning of the relationship. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, now, Ms. give me another example, Ms. Hall. <laughs> okay, so I had planned a family trip to go to take my kids to the aquarium. And we had planned this trip a month in advance to go, and all four of us, me, him, and our kids. Well, he, I booked a hotel room, I got the car and all that. He would agree, like, yeah, that's cool, do that, do that, or whatever, and I did. Well, three days before, he goes, I'm not going. <coughs> I'm like, why you not, you know, I didn't put my money into all this because we never go do anything. When he's been together four years, and you, you do not want to go. And it upsets me because I, this was, trip, this trip really was something to me that I really, I really wanted to go on this trip. And then when I get back, I get back from it, and he's texting another female and and telling her that he don't want to, you know, he want to pursue it with her. She's sending him news, and, and it's upsetting. And I just, I don't think we will work out. I don't trust him. How long ago was that trip? It, it was a month ago. A month ago. Yes. Mr. Parker, can you can you give me your version of that event? My version is um, she, we was arguing, like, mm -hmm. consistently arguing, you know what I'm saying, all the way up to this point. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, you know, she should just take somebody else. Because why, why go on a vacation and come back with the same stuff? The right, time. we arguing all the time. What were you arguing about? <laughs> Everything. I mean, give it me could some be, examples. Like, we had an argument not too long ago. Um, I was in and out the restroom, uh, shaving. Mm -hmm. And as I was in and out, uh, she was fueling up. I guess she felt as if I was texting somebody else or um, doing some talking to somebody else, you know, through message or something like that. So <coughs> I come out and I sit at the island and um, 
she just starts shadow boxing. Like, I do that beat like this. I do it like this right here. So I, so I turn my head so I don't see her, and she'll get in my view again. I do that beat like this right here. I, I, I still got it. I still got it. So I'm, you know, I turn this way. But it's just and okay. she gets in my view again. Were you shadow boxing some imaginary chick I was that he was? You thought he was texting on the phone? No, it, I wasn't. It was not that. that that's not you true. You tell me what happened. That's not true. You tell me I what happened. I did that because he told me that he was not talking to this particular female, and he lied about it. And he keep going in and out of the bathroom. He goes, he stays in the bathroom hours and hours at a time. <laughs> hours and hours. In the morning, he in there an hour. Lunch break, he in there an hour. Before we go to bed, he in there an hour. And I'm like, we don't never spend time together. So well, I mean, we, what are you doing? She over-exaggerated. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna ask you what you were doing in the bathroom. Right, right. That's just policy. Right, right. <laughs> But are you texting or sending messages to other women that if she saw them, it would upset her? Yes. Um, what kind of messages are you sending? So, the, the girl <coughs> she's referring to uh, that sent me the nude, when she was gone, before she left, um, we was talking about separating, we went on good terms. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, I was wrong for misleading this girl on, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's like, we need to, we need to get our stuff together, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I did, I was in the wrong for doing that. Right. But, you know, it, I didn't, I didn't want it to go no further than just that message, mm -hmm. you know? Your Honor, no. What happened was, and this came out of his mouth, he said the, the, lady, the, the lady likes him, and they were in some corner um, talking, and she wanted to talk about personal stuff. Now, I done told him before, don't be handing your number out. I don't like that. If you want to marry me, then respect me and don't hand your number out. But we was talking about separating. No, we was not at the time. We was, we was not separating. talking about separating. We were actually talking about moving forward in our relationship. But how can I move but, forward, Yana? Her, her attitude is, like, so messed up. Like, it was a, it was a previous incident at her old apartment. Uh-huh. Like, I just needed some time to myself. Right. So I go to the back room. Yeah. And I close myself in the back room, and she automatically assumed that the door was locked. She didn't even check to see if the door was locked or not. So she comes, she yells, um, no locked doors in my house. So she comes back, she's like, okay. So she go get a hammer, beats the doorknob off the, off the door just to get into the room. And like I say, her attitude is so bad, she didn't even check to see if the door was locked, you know. Did you come at the door with a hammer? <laughs> it's logical, but it's not moral. And all I want to say is, you know, people come in here talking about women crazy mm -hmm. when you make them crazy. He gets angry too. He didn't, you know, I one day came back from the um, beautician, just got my hair done, and I was about to go to work. Well, we got into an argument. He throws water on my hair. After I just left the shop. How you gonna throw water on a black woman's hair? <laughs> that's just, that's just, that's just wrong. I'm gonna tell you, she was, she was literally trying to fight me. So what's, a little splash, you know? Were you trying to fight him? Did you start, did you start hands on? No. Were you acting up I and think flailing I was, about? I was doing a little pushing, but. Oh, a little pushing. A little pushing. I had to go to work, so he went, I wasn't trying to fight out. I, I don't, I don't You were like... just trying to tussle with him? Yes. Now, Miss Hall, you can't be tussling with me. First of all, look at him. <laughs> he accidentally pushes you away too hard. You got an issue. That's number one. And number two, it's illegal for everybody. It is. You can't start, <laughs> People get hurt that way, they, you know. But he do these I things. Can't go well, I went, give me another I example go. of her explosive temper. Me and my cousin had made arrangements to go somewhere, and uh, I put my clothes on, had my, my jewelry on, and stuff like that. So she didn't want me to leave. Pulling me by my shirt, snatched my chain off, doing all this, and it's like, how can we move forward when you if got so you... much negative built inside? It's like, what? what do you do you recall that occasion? I, I, I'm not physical like that. I'm not. A, I'm not. I have been, but I've changed. And and that. Was, when did you change? I changed about two years ago. Uh -huh. Oh really? Yes. <laughs> Your Honor, just like three weeks ago, we had an argument. She leaves the house, and calls me, and I hang up on her because uh -huh. I didn't want to argue. So she comes back to the house, 
you hang up on me again, I'll bust you in your mouth and destroy this whole house. And that was just like not even a month ago. Has she always been what you say, what you call an angry black woman? Because that's a very sensitive term. Well, you know, I can honestly admit that some of my actions, you know, may have led to her acting like that. Because when we started off, um, when we first started dating, I was seeing somebody else. She was fresh out of a relationship. Mm -hmm. The guy had cheated on her with over like 50 plus women, so she got a trust issue uh, already going to begin into with. It. Right. Well, and she yeah. swear up and down, that's not the reason why she has trust <laughs> issues, but. Was she the side chick originally when you were in the relationship with the other person? Um, it wasn't a relationship. We was just friends with benefits doing our thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and it she, carried on for along, three years. Because I was in a relationship. With yes. Did that carry I, on for three years? It didn't carry on for three years. No. How long did it carry years. on for? Sexually, um, about a, probably almost a year. But I wasn't, I wasn't too sure about, you know, how I was going to pursue Your Honor, and, and Let me ask you this. Were you clear about what was happening with you and everybody? Did you say, hey, you're not my lady. I'm, I'm seeing you, but I'm also seeing other women. Did you make nah. that clear? No. Nah. So you kind of I liked her and I wanted to keep her and I wanted to see what was up, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to cut that off, not knowing how. That, you, know, you know what I'm saying? This, 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 I understand your reasoning. It is it, it, it's logical, but it's not moral. And all I want to say is, you know, people come in here talking about women crazy mm -hmm. when you make them crazy. <laughs> you know. If you keep doing stuff to us, eventually we respond with a level of fear. Because yeah. that's all that anger is, is this fear pressed outward. When you work your job until that job is over, then you work another job. But you can't really work the job that you got if you've got your tentacles somewhere else just in case that job don't work out. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. So, you have a video of your mother? I do. Okay, let's see what mom thinks. I like to say I love both of them with all my heart, but as far as them getting married, I think that we need to wait just a little longer for a reason being that decisiveness on both of their parts, they need to be consistent and they need to have strength. They both not need to be so stubborn. And I want to let them know I will not come over to your house anymore to tolerate any argument in front of my grandchildren at 1 o'clock a.m. in the morning. So I'm just going to pray for y'all and I hope everything works out fine. So... Does she think that you should just kind of ignore the side women of the cheating? Yes. And, and, and if you're a good woman, stick with it. And if he tips around a little bit, just kind of ignore it so you can secure him, lock him down, and keep him in the house? Because that is a... That, that is a, a theory <laughs> of behavior out there that, that some women say, this is how, how, you, how you secure a dude and eventually he will age out of the cheating. You just have to ride out the side women. I don't agree. But that's, that is a point of view. Is that the point of view that your mother mother has? Yes, mm -hmm. she does. Mr. Parker, why, would you, why should you put a woman whom you love in the position to have to decide whether or not she's going to look you straight in the face and realize that, she's li that you're lying to her? What no. makes that okay? It, it, it really don't make it okay. And I have, you know, I, I put myself in um, very inappropriate position situations at mm -hmm. times, you know, and, you know, I, I understand how she feel, you know, mm -hmm. but, but me what? personally, I, I know what I'm, what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. But you're on a... Yeah, what, 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 what does that mean? You know what you're doing and what you're not doing. That mean I'm, I'm faithful. I don't, I don't cheat on her. Uh, the only, like I say, it's been, the only time I had any kind of problems with a female was the beginning and the picture that she had. That was it. And the nude I mean, picture. The, yeah, the nude picture. That was it. Uh-huh. Your Honor, no. Do, 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 no. But do you flirt and do you, do, do you, do you mislead and do you, do you charm? Do that, you do all of that? Now, the girl that sent the picture, I did kind of mislead her. 
But it's like I shut it down, like, immediately mm -hmm. after, you know? After I find out. <laughs> if I didn't find out, I think you would have kept on and nah, kept on like you did I the other I ones. I wouldn't have, but Until like I, I say, find out. we was talking about separating, though. Mm -hmm. We was talking about separating. We've been talking about separating for a long time. Mm -hmm. Wait till the first year. Yeah, yeah, you can go and go your separate way. You yeah, know, can I say year. this in general? You know, until you're separated, you're not separated. Mm. You work on it until you work on, you, until you decide to separate, and then you move on. It seems to me that people come in here and say, the minute our relationship ain't cool, I gotta be touching somebody else because for some, I don't wanna look foolish. I don't wanna look dumb. I've got to, you know, things aren't working out, so I got to go grab and, and text and, and DM somebody. That's, that's not how grown folks do it. Right. You're in it till you're not in it. Right. You know, you work your job until that job is over, then you work another job, but you can't really work the job that you got if you've got your tentacles somewhere else just in case that job don't work out. $160, which is the value of four pairs of jeans. Uh. What happens to your jeans? <laughs> so, I like wearing my jeans because I carry a lot of equipment around on my, on my belt. So the slacks don't really support it. Well, one day I woke up getting ready for work and I couldn't find out one pair of my jeans. Huh? He hid them. Why did you hide her jeans? And I spent almost $300 on her some clothes. So, um, she was not wearing my clothes and wearing the blue jeans. So I'm like, you know, let me, let me hide these blue jeans. Well, actually, at first... <laughs> did you ask her why you, she wasn't wearing them? No, I did not. Y'all got to grow up. I did not. I mean, my God! Your yeah, Honor. You got your jeans back, didn't I, you? I got, yeah, I got them Well, you can't sue them for something you got, but let me tell you this. Listen, I wrote a book called Dear Sonali to the Daughter I Never Had. This is a book about being a 20-something-year-old woman. The whole book doesn't get to relationships until here. The reason that it doesn't get to relationships to, from here is because I'm concerned that young women don't yet understand the importance of being a layered, intelligent, multi-dimensional person whose relationship does not define them. Because that's partly what makes you crazy. If the only thing in your life that you focus upon, the only thing in life that's important to you is securing a dude, then the very fact that he does anything that makes you insecure makes you a lunatic makes you absolutely crazy. Men behave better when they know you can walk off. <laughs> Mr. Park, if you want to love somebody, the first thing you got to do is make, feel, make sure she feels secure. Yeah. Period, end of story. <laughs> if women don't feel secure, they're not going to be able to love you well. They're gonna be crazy, they're gonna be in your phone, they're gonna be at your door with a hammer. <laughs> you author your own problems when you do things to make your woman insecure. Did you hear me? I heard you. I, uh, you got your jeans back, so there will be no recovery. I'm gonna have you go to somebody after this for a little, little get you started on a little counseling, but did you hear what I told you? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand what I told you? Mm -hmm. Are you going to pay attention to what I told you? Yes, ma'am. Then this matter is adjourned. Mm -hmm.